We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I caught her out, now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today, I just wanted to make a quick video on some of the things that I learned this morning as of, you know, looking through all the 2K information, seeing if anything new was popping up. And I wanted to clarify a couple of things with you guys. So, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing I wanted to say is the fact that if you guys did not know, uh, but I think it was about, uh, I think it was yesterday, maybe? Or, it, no, it was the day the prelude dropped. So, yeah, yeah, it was Friday. Um... Or was it Thursday? I, I don't know. It's, it was either Thursday evening or Friday. Not sure which one. But Chris Move actually did an, uh, like a whole live stream where the 2K community got to ask a bunch of questions. And Chris Move was directly there able to ask the questions for us as like kind of like a representative and uh, to bridge the gap between you know the 2K community and the devs themselves. And he got to ask a couple of really good questions. And some of the key information that I got from the situation was this he goes on to make a video on it and we learned that the attribute cap now one of the biggest things about making uh, my career or my player over the last couple of years is that you don't really get a real a broad attribute cap like last year especially you were kind of in the dark you didn't even know uh, anything from your badges to what you could get so they had to make multiple like websites and stuff like that so you guys can kind of get a general area of how to make the character or what kind of character you want and how they would be potentially and what you were getting into. Now, this is probably going to be the best customization or creation uh, period in 2K since 2K15. Well, I'm, I say that in the broad sense of you get to do some crazy things. Now, there is still dual archetypes, which I still would like to go back to a point where everybody was just you know you built what you wanted to build if you wanted to have a max three-pointer and you know like 2k15's attribute system was the best in my opinion uh if you guys would do me a favor and leave in the comment section below what your favorite 2k like my career my player type of uh thing was that would be awesome because i'm just i'm very curious on that and i would love to hear that from you guys but aside from that back to what i was saying when it comes to it that's what I thought. 2K15 had the best one, but this year we're able to not only have our dual archetypes, but with every combo we make, we'll be able to see the max attribute cap for when we do it. So whether it's changing your wingspan, whether it's changing your shoulder length, the, how your weight, you're going to see how that directly affects your overall in whatever you want to do. Say if you're a sharpshooter, and you'll see where how, what your moving shot will be, and what your standing shot will be, what your contested shot will be as you change all of your measurements and things like that so that's a really cool thing but as as much as cool and as cool as that is we will not be able to see that until we reach the final build of the game the beta does release release or the prelude releases in a couple of days so as you rank up your character in the prelude yes you will be able to see the small ones but you won't be able to see an overall perspective until the full game releases now along with that you will be able to see your uh, what you call it? You're sorry. I'm, I'm, my, my mind's spaced right there. You'll be able to see your badges. And with that, I think that's a really cool thing too. Because like I said, uh, reiterating back to 2K18, when we were making our characters, we saw how many Hall of Fame badges, but we didn't see them until after we had to go through the whole beginning portion of the game. And it, you know, like, I, you didn't really get to see it. So unless somebody already had the builds already made, you were kind of shooting in the dark. So when it comes to your first character, you really don't want to be doing that. Because 9 times out of 10, that's going to be the character you spend the most time on and the most uh, you invest into. So in that situation, I hope that that helps you guys out a little bit. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that there is going to be, that it's going to change. Like your amount of badges, what badges you can get, what badges you can't get. Those are all going to change. But one thing that I wanted to talk about is... When it comes to the like the badges or your your key archetype, when it comes to those things, you will your primary is what's important. We've already gone over this. Your secondary becomes important later on. We've already gone over this. But what we hadn't talked about was the fact that those key things, like we'll take the playmaker for instance, which is one that was really touched on during the live stream. 
the ability to drop ankles or, or, or not to drop ankles. I don't even know what I'm talking about right there. But the ability to put somebody on their back or completely like um, debilitate them only happens when you are in takeover mode. Uh, you can make them lean, you can make them stumble a little bit, but you won't get those full on their back animations until you are in takeover mode. And that's still going, and that's going to happen even after you hit 94. Like when you hit 94, you just get your secondary attributes or your secondary archetypes, um, what you call it, like its takeover ability. So theoretically, if you were a playmaking slasher in takeover at 94 overall, not only would you be able to break an ankle, but you'd be able to dunk on an opponent too. That's what we get from this. So that. Putting that into perspective, the 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 high overall characters, because I made a video on the other day, the other day that's that was talking about how high overalls are going to be nasty, but the high overalls in this coming up 2K are going to be completely ridiculous when it comes to the part. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hyped about this game. I'm I I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like it's it's so crazy, and I can't. I, I what I'm more looking forward to as we get close to the game is i cannot wait to find the full release of the build or the full release of the game and see what you get in my career because that, that's or my my part or i guess you could call it the same i, I don't really know what you want to reference because in my career and my park are kind of like sync so it, anyways that's not important what is important is i can't wait to see what kind of rewards you get if they kind of beefed them up from last season or last year last year's were kind of they were kind of lame so I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that they fix that and they give us some really cool stuff to work towards. But guys, um, like I said, I'm pretty sure 2K19's a dub. I know we can't say that yet because we haven't had actual gameplay, but I'm almost positive that this is going to be one of the best games that we've played in the last like maybe three years. But we're gonna have to see. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them chops. Walking out the tin and blue with